noticed I had a lump um, in the back of my right thigh in my muscle and I kind of blew it off um, and then went to work the next day and asked my doctor what she thought this was and she said well let's get an ultrasound and we'll take a look at that and I thought I'm in some big trouble. I was afraid for my children. How am I going to tell my children? That their mom is sick and I'm going to go through this and it's going to hurt them. But we did it. We did it together. I got to see my patients that I cared for. I was in the waiting room with them. And all the love and kindness that I gave to people came back to me more than I could even imagine. More than I could even imagine. And now I'm cancer free one year. I was one year cancer free April 12th. I continue to work full time. I'm back to hiking and biking like I always did before this happened. And I'm stronger now than I was before. And I did it. My name is Sarah Brugman and I lost my dad to sarcoma in August of 2017. My dad was a spitfire. I may get that from him. Growing up, my dad was an avid runner. He ran every day of his life for more than 20 years. Even if it was negative 30 out or 100 degrees out, he would run outside every day. It was his passion. When he was in his late 60s, he had a lot of pain in his right bicep. And he went to the doctor and they did an ultrasound and they realized it was a tumor. A month before my wedding, my dad called. He said, um, I don't want you to worry. Everything's gonna be okay, but um, I have a tumor and it's the malignant kind. He couldn't even say the word cancer. So by the time our wedding rolled around a month later, everybody knew that my dad had cancer and he was about to start radiation. And my strong, healthy dad deteriorated. In May of 2016, my daughter was born, and it was his um, first and only grandchild, and they were instant peas in a pod, and she just lit up whenever she'd see him, and um, for my dad, who could be so stubborn and so strong-willed, she could just break that down real fast. So it was great. They were thick as thieves. The sarcoma was back and it had spread and there was nothing they could do. We didn't want him to be in pain anymore and he passed away that night and the hardest part of it is that my daughter won't have a grandpa growing up, especially one that was so great. But. I do consider us lucky because we had my dad for 72 years and sarcoma is such a nasty, nasty disease that affects so many people when they're young and it's just not fair. Uh, my name is Megan Gedimer and I was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma in December of 2018. I had first noticed some mild pain in my shoulder, maybe around seventh grade. But by the time I was 15, I had significant range of motion issues in my right shoulder. Years went by, and by my senior year of high school, I again had like serious shoulder pain. Looking back on it, I'd say that that day was probably one of the worst days of my life, but at the same time, 
me and my roommates hung out and got dinner that night. So that's like definitely made it a little bit easier. I've been hopeless basically at one point thinking that I was gonna have shoulder pain forever and then to find out and wake up for my surgery and see that everything went fine was a really big deal. I cannot even imagine what it was like for my parents. I was very lucky and my treatments were really helpful for my tumor and I was reactive to my treatments. But there's people out there who that doesn't happen and therefore the lack of new treatments is really frustrating. I mean, we need help with the funding. Like, it isn't out there for us. We need help from other people. We need to help ourselves. We need to help spread awareness. I would say that something I've definitely learned is that funding helps the people who are already in too deep and need the help with new treatments. But awareness, definitely, that helps the people who haven't been diagnosed yet. I, I'm incredibly lucky. My cancer is caught at stage three. All of my treatments were really successful. Chemo radiation shrunk my tumor a lot. It shrunk from stage three to stage one. My surgery was successful. There's so many things to be grateful for. Together. Together. Together we are stronger. We are stronger. We are stronger than sarcoma.